There's a story in the canon, Venerable Sonat. And we remember the story mainly because of the simile of the lute. He was the one who was so delicately brought up that when he was doing walking meditation, his feet got bloody. He got discouraged. He was thinking of disrobing. And the Buddha came to him, disappeared from Vulture Peak, and reappeared right in front of him. He said, are you planning to disrobe? And Sona said, yes. And then the Buddha gave the image of the lute. If it was tuned too tightly, it didn't sound right. If it, the tuning was too loose, it didn't sound right. You had to find the, just the right amount. And the Buddha said, in the same way you adjust the amount of energy you're going to put into the practice to be in line with the amount of energy you've got, and then you adjust all your other faculties, conviction, mindfulness, concentration, discernment, to the amount of energy you can manage. That's the part we remember. The part we tend to forget is that Sona did become an arahant. And he went to see the Buddha. And when he proclaimed his arahantship, he didn't say, Hey, I'm an arahant. He simply said that the mind, when it's well trained, is like a solid rock. A post 16 spans tall, eight spans buried in the ground. No matter which direction the winds come from, the rock doesn't shake, doesn't move. And it's the contrast between his upbringing and the state of mind he developed. That's really striking. He started out, his feet were so soft he couldn't walk barefoot. But then he was able to make his mind like rock. So regardless of your background, it is possible to develop strength in the mind, endurance, and unshakability in terms of what people do, people say what people think of you. You can train your mind so you don't have to be shaken by that. And when you're not shaken by that, then you're in a much better position to do what's right. Like that stone column, it stands upright. It doesn't lean in any direction. It doesn't lean to liking or disliking or fear or delusion. It sees what's fair. So even though you're not an arahant, you can still make your mind more rock-like. It's a quality we can all develop. And think of it as a virtue. All too often we think our virtue is in our ability to not submit to what other people say. But that creates a lot of problems in the world. You have to learn how to distinguish what, what things are worth changing, which things are not worth changing, which things have priority and which things don't. And as for the things that don't have high priority, it can make your mind like rock. And even for the things that do have priority, if you want to see clearly what needs to be done, you have to make your mind like rock, unshaken, fair. that we can live in this world without causing any unnecessary suffering, either for yourself or for other people. <laughs>